Uncle the Jazz Battle Detective Adventures. Here we are on Stubble, searching for history. Let's just hope we find something today. More, hopefully, Ahmed, if we can. My mates, Darren and Rob. I don't know which you want, so I just keep getting mixed up, don't I? You know. Hi, uh, right, John. I'm Rob. <laughs> and that's John. Right. They come down up. Me and me and my mates got here. You know, uh, we're on a new field. Not done this at all. Stubble. Um, so, um, what have you found then? Uh, just at the moment, we've only been here about an hour, an hour, and the heat's getting to us. But we're gonna we're gonna rough it and just try another little bit because we we think because I've never been here. We think there might be some possibility of older stuff here. <laughs> I thought it was a leg or something. Well, yeah. kids should be at school. Let's go. Are you good, John? Uh, just line it all up, and uh, I, I recognise that. Uh, that's first world war, you know. Really? Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. I recognise it. I'm trying to think. I recognise that. I think that is Lancashire Fusiliers, I think. Never, I might be wrong. Never. Might be wrong. Uh, that's going in the iron department now. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. we think that's a yeah. yes. cold on leg. Oh. We have a thing we need to shout about, but there's evidence, obviously, of activity. We just want good activity. That's uh, what I've got in an hour. In an hour, not much, but you've got a, a coin, haven't you, though? Yeah. Is that, what is that one, then? Penny. Yeah, yeah. Of who? I think that's probably yeah, so, uh, Georgia V, Penny, yeah. and that, you know, and, and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A little teaser. There's uh, 1862, Napoleon III. Nice. Uh, oh, 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 bronze. Sit. Yeah, spin it around there, uh, OB. The eagle on the back. Yeah, just barely see the wings to the side. Napoleon coin for the use of. Brilliant. And then uh, the visitor, all the way from South Shields, come up world with a, a Roman denarius. Hey, well done, brother. So hear it from the man himself. I, 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 think you, I think you're right there, mate. Can we get, can we go here? Just get to stay still. Uh, can you just flick it upwards into the lot? And yeah. yeah. There you go. So, we think it's the Roman Denarius. It's massive, massive field. Oh, huge. No, it's absolutely huge, isn't it, mate? So, there he sneaks off. He's off. And Darren's away. Yeah, Darren's got a coin. See what he's got. Where you got there, mate? I don't know. I think it's there. Uh... Yeah, just believe that's what they come yeah. up like. Yeah. 14. 14? Yeah. Well, that, that must have been on its, on its edge. Yeah. But that's George III, that. It's naft. That's what he's got. So that's uh, my mate here. So off I go. I'm off. Let's get this machine going and let's let's get finding. Get finding. Oh, There's four of us today, so that, that might, that, that, that'll might be interesting. So um, thanks a lot for you guys joining me. And we're going to shoot now. Yeah. And carry on the good work. It is actually 31 centigrade with a little breeze, but still hot, 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 hot. Catch you later. Got a coin there, small one. I think it's Roman. Check it out later. 15. Trying out the look will be in this brilliant pub where we've got the caravan. Hey, superb stuff, superb stuff. Honestly, yeah, we're absolutely brilliant, honestly. The free beers, apparently. We get, we get all the Steve down. Here's Steve, look, Steve, Bluebell, sound guy, brilliant. And this is quickly do the outside. Here we go, guys. When you come to Kirby Hill, this is where you come for a fight. Bluebell, guys, what a pub. Awesome, absolutely superb, superb. Okay, yeah. this is the life. Here we are in the background. And yeah, be 
exactly. Nigga. We just said, cheers. <laughs> we're going to just give a quick count up as we've been to the pub and we had a couple of drinks and was feeling a bit kind of like in between right. twilight zone i think it's time for bed but we have to do the count up and i hope you're totally excited because we are totally so our can is on but uh nothing <laughs> as he's taking the day off and then we've got me and scott the main eventers and of course we've got my mate rob and darren who he's found a room of denarios we stuck it out me me and scott stuck it out we did and we went on there this evening as well and found more junk but you know, detecting is finding. That's what I say. Detecting is finding. Okay, let's get to my Scott, mate, and let's get the full report of what he's found. What you got there, All mate? All right. So, um, this is my first uh, clay pipe. Oh. Yeah, see the hole? It's all clay. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, that's where they smoke through the hole. Yeah. Oh, oh. All right. And one, two, three, four pistol shots. Oh, you got a few of them. Yeah. Oh. All right. Okay. And um, a fairly modern bullet. Bullet. Ooh. Um, and I found these back in the uh, U.S., but I, I don't know what they are. They're it's rolled. Uh, which is just uh, some sort of an adornment, or um, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's yeah. threaded, so it's it has a purpose. This is probably for um, like a bridal decoration. It's the horse bridal belt decoration. There we go. That'd have been really good, cool. That when it were shiny, right? A uh, draw handle, draw, yeah, draw handle, draw yeah. handle. Yeah. yeah, just find the draw and it's sorted. Yeah. And then I just found this and we're going to do, look into it a little bit and see what that might be. Seems to be a hole at the top and at the bottom. Uh, oh, yeah. that seems like a cross. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it does look like that. Yeah. It might be a religious connotation there. We'll, we'll look into that and maybe get back to you on that. Yeah, yeah jolly good. That's, that's All so right. Good. Yeah. And then I've got uh, two coins today. One is um, uh, French uh, Napoleon III. Oh, that's awesome. That. That's nice. Yeah. Yep. And um, backside. Yeah, that's cracking. You can see all that. And this would be my second or third Victoria. This, um, Victoria Penne. On this trip. Oh, it's only good. see much a whole lot on that, but... Oh, it's not, it's not uh, a good condition, yeah. is it? All right, and so the uh, the last thing, we're thinking that this is um, some sort of uh, medieval, uh, maybe a nail or peg for a uh, ship. Bronze. Yeah, could be. Could be some sort of, yeah. We just got to find a ship. There you go. So that's what it could be. We're shipped, oh. out, we're shipped out of luck. Oh, all it? right. Are we all done? That's it. Jolly good. So it's my iPhone. Ken. Ken oh, I can is ready for the sleeping box. Sleepy yes, buys. Yes. The sleeping the box. One and a half pints. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the wind blows, the baby hey, will uh, sleep. <laughs> anyway, our Ken's ready for the sleep land. I'm ready for shut right. eye. A spoon. <laughs> That'll just be perfect for our sugar. Might not get a lot on, but it could be useful. Just a spoonful of sugar. A buckle. Oh, I know that song. That's a buckle, but it's what you call broken. 
should be out there like that. So that'd be 17, 18th century. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. <laughs> Monocle or mono, whatever they call that. Glasses or something. Yeah. Now, this is the start of the show, which I've put right in the right in the middle. I think this is what we call 16th to 17th century buckle. And I think this is Henry VIII, personally. I think he personally used this for his personal views. <laughs> he personally. Yeah. Um, he had it designed so that it went round like that, which is unique, I think. See? Okay. And that <laughs> is like a duck. It personally. Look like a duck. <laughs> I think he's a duck. <laughs> Handle. Duck handle. I've been ducking diving, have you? Yeah, and the duck's missing. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, what, that's what I think, too. There we go. Um, now, this the is... Hey, the duck stops here. Yeah. This is a latch to the tiniest chest you've ever known. I mean... Is that a tiny latch or what? You know what I mean? I mean, you know, it must be for small jewellery. Maybe for one ring. But, yeah, that's a, some sort of brass latch. Definitely. Uh, what else we got? Oh. Now, it's seen better days, this. That's a spindle wheel. It's what we call being through the mincer. Not good. But still a spindle wheel. But I get to find out what that is. Uh, I can't really tell. Perhaps later in my other video, I'll be able to get some detail. But it's a tiny little coin. I don't think it's Roman because it's too even. So it's not one of them. Anyway. So these are the other coins that I found. Yet to find out what they are. Ooh. So three coins, probably George the Third, George the Third and Elizabeth the Second penny. Which was spendable. Spendable. That that that, that will go a long way for spend that. Um then we're talking You might as well come to this lock because I've got that many. Load of buttons. <coughs> buttons of all description. Description there. Not even a silver what one. What do you have for a total uh, count on the buttons? Oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven buttons, I think. There we go. And um, then we've got some little bullets. Bullets. Tiny, tiny bullets. I don't think they'll do much impact on you, to be honest. It's probably going to just upset you in a bit and that's about it i mean that i'll just probably knock a pimple out <laughs> won't it eh look at the size of that bullet end <laughs> eh? i'll just probably go what were that that other thing that bullet right tiny little thing uh, and then um now this could be interesting and i gotta clean it up but i think this is some sort of brooch Oval brooch. Don't know what period it is. Yet to clean it up and find out. That's my total haul for today. At 32 centigrade. Sweating mm. yourself to death. Working hard. And you know, no silver. So I'm going to write a letter to the silver god and say, What happened? <laughs> but that's my report for today. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> as much as I enjoyed reporting it, and we're on his last day tomorrow for a few hours in the morning to see if we can find any silver. Fingers crossed. <laughs>